here's your update. What a bummer. So didn't have a single seed germinate in this area. Not a single one. We finally cut the water off after about six weeks. Sod's looking great though. Take a look at it. I haven't mowed it or anything since I installed it, but you can see, I don't know, six or eight inches tall, fully rooted, not a single bit of stress in it, hadn't been watering it. I bet we went five to six weeks without any water whatsoever. Well, I spoke with the local super sod store and uh, they actually hooked me up with the guy that's in charge of the seed. I believe he's out of Georgia. And uh, after I told him the whole process and uh, what we had going on with the germination, uh, basically just came to the conclusion that it was a bad bag of seed. I uh, didn't really know why other than maybe it was just stored improperly. Uh, so he, what he said he'd do is just send me a brand new bag of seed this spring and we'll just start the process over again. Uh, good news is that we didn't lose any of our grading. Uh, the erosion mass did exactly what I needed them to do. I uh, haven't had any dirt move at all. Uh, so we're not going to be doing any grading today and we won't be doing any grading next spring. So next spring will be a very easy, just simply seed and uh, start watering process. Um, so the only thing we're really out of is maybe buying erosion blankets again next year. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and plant some fescue. It's going to get us through the winter time, uh, help us with the erosion. Uh, we're going to get these erosion blankets up, which I was going to do anyway. Uh, but now we're just going to go ahead and get them up. And then next spring when we go to reseed the zoysia, uh, we may put them back down, but we might not have to because we'll have some uh, dead fescue root systems there to kind of hold the dirt in place uh, while that zoysia seed germinates. So. Um, may not end up costing us any extra money except for a bag of fescue seed, which has actually come down this year. All right, the process is pretty much the same here. Uh, the only difference really is I do the aeration after I put out the seed and fertilizer versus before. It's really the only difference, but uh, just start a fertilizer, 18, 24, 12. Probably go about four pounds per thousand on that. And then I've got some transition blend from site one. We're gonna go out at about 10 pounds per thousand of fescue seed. So if you got one of these Lesco spreaders, this is the 80 pound version. Uh, the 50 pounds is probably the same, but I just run it between 16 and 18. So we're gonna run two passes wide open on the fertilizer spreader. Should be right at 10 pounds per thousand. Should use right at this whole bag on this area. And we're gonna make two passes crisscross uh, basically, we're going to put one pass down, then we're going to aerate it in, and then we're going to run the second pass on top of the ground, and then we're going to use a drag mat. So I've already got my pre-emergent down in my zoysia, uh, my fall pre-emergent application. Did it around the first week of September, so shouldn't have any issues with uh, the fescue germinating the zoysia. Uh, if it does, we'll just spray it out. It's pretty easy to kill, uh, so I'm not really too worried about getting it in my zoysia, but uh, we're going to try our best not to. That's what one pass looks like on the wide open setting. Should be right around five pounds per thousand square feet. I know a lot of people don't want to hear this, but there's no way that that grass seed right there is going to stay there when it rains or with the slightest little breeze. Uh, there's no way it's going to germinate on that and have a successful standing grass come springtime next summer. Um, it's actually pretty soft, honestly, when you step on it, but there's just no way that that's going to work. And a lot of people just don't want to hear it because uh, you either got to get somebody out there to fix it or you got to rent the equipment to fix it. Throwing grass seed on hard dirt, it just doesn't work.
Got a lot of hours with the Aerovator, and there's one thing that I've learned by using it is you really never know what you're gonna get. So this is not really acceptable in my opinion uh, to leave as a finished grade. Yeah, it'd work, um, but it's gonna settle kind of uneven. So uh, I've got the colder packer. We're gonna run the cold packer over it, try to smooth it back up uh, before the dirt gets moved out of place. And we'll use a drag mat to kind of finish it off. Um, it's just one of those things uh, when you run that aerovator over it, a lot of it has to do with the amount of moisture in the dirt, um, how hard it is, how loose it is. Uh, a lot of things that go into it. It's really unpredictable though. Well, I ended up weighing it down with this tire and cement block. And that's a pretty good grade. It's definitely something I'd put my name on. Smoothed it right on up. So just a few passes with the colder packer. Uh, quite a few passes with that drag mat, actually probably six or eight times. All right, well, we ran out of time yesterday, but one last step I'd like to do on bare dirt renovations, put out some tenacity. It'll just help control some of the winter weeds that are trying to come in same time your fescue is. Uh, can't really use this stuff with warm season grasses. You can really only use it with fescue, Kentucky bluegrass. Uh, I think there's even some limitations on not using it with fine fescue. So uh, just make sure you read the label before you use it. But uh, this is an eight ounce bottle. This eight ounce bottle will cover an acre. Uh, it's a five to eight ounce rate per acre on bare dirt renovation. So, we're gonna go with the high rate of eight ounce per acre. All right, renovation's complete for the second time. I got the Tenassi application down. I actually left a little bit of a buffer between the renovation and my zoysia. Uh, it can do a little bit of damage to warm season grasses. So the only thing left to do is turn the irrigation on. Same setup as last time. If you're interested in the irrigation setup, you can go back and check out the video on uh, the renovation with the zoysia seed. All right, today's October 19th. If I remember right, we planted this somewhere around the third week of September. So right about, about a month of growth on this fescue. That's probably three and a half, four inches tall, somewhere around there. Definitely could have been mowed before this. Uh, just been kind of busy, so I haven't got to it to mow it. See, I got some leaves on it. One of the fall challenges was seeding fescue. So we're gonna try to get all these leaves off here before we mow it, just to give a little bit cleaner of a job. So overall, I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, we do have a few areas that are a little thinner. I don't really know what happened. Um, maybe just dragging the drag mat over this, I may have pulled some of the seed over to the, some of these thicker areas. Uh, we've had one rainstorm, maybe a half an inch, I don't know, a week and a half ago, after all this was pretty well established. So don't think we had any seed that washed away. But overall, this is really the only thin area that I have up above my culvert. You could start adding some liquid fertilizer to this, maybe a tenth of a pound a week or so, just to kind of push it along. Uh, that will really help it grow and thicken up this winter. Mowing it is by far the uh, key to thickening it up, and that's true for any grass type. But as soon as you start mowing this, it's gonna start the tiller. All right, well, let's get these few leaves cleaned off, and then we're gonna uh, give it a quick mow. Uh, I'm not trying to do anything striping or, or make it look pretty or anything. We're just trying to get on and get off of it. Uh, I got my mower set at three inches. Anywhere between two and a half, three and a half should be fine. All right, well, let's get these leaves blown off here. Um, it just gives a little bit cleaner of a job. You can mulch them, or uh, I've actually got my bagger on. I guess I could just suck them up, but I'm gonna blow them off, then I'm gonna uh, suck up the clippings with my bagger. I just got a cheap mower here. Nothing special about this. Got it set at three inches, and uh, you could probably cut it two and a half to three and a half if you wanted to. It really doesn't matter this time of year. Uh, we have not seen frost yet. Uh, we do have a rainstorm coming tomorrow, and this has not been watered in 
well over a week and you can see how wet it still is. So as for the irrigation, we're gonna be pulling that up today. That's going away for the year and we're just gonna count on rain from this point on. All right, that ain't looking too bad. Let's cut it two and a half inches. Uh, a little thin up here towards the top, but you know, if I was gonna keep this long term, I would probably put some more seed out, honestly, uh, in some of those areas. And as you move down towards the bottom, uh, it's definitely taller and thicker. And I have no doubt that was due to irrigation, just better coverage, uh, probably just hit the hillside better. The one on top of the hill probably shot over top of the hill. It's a lot steeper grade here than what it looks. All right, well, I appreciate y'all watching. If you got any questions or comments, leave them below.